Hey everyone, it's Gareth from the No Code Coder channel. Thanks for joining me for this new series where I'll be building a full commercial application from start to finish. And when I say I'm building a full commercial application, I mean that it's one that I'm building to sell as a commercial app. So we're going to go through the process of defining the app, I'm going to go through the process of obviously how to build the app, and also look at go-to-market strategies so that you'll be able to see the process step by step of building out a full commercial app, not a fake one, a, a real genuine commercial app that I'm gonna be looking to sell. And hopefully that will help you in your journey if you want also wanna build uh, SaaS applications, primarily business to business SaaS applications. So the first thing is, what is it that we're actually building? Well, we're building this, okay? It's called Business Kit. This is gonna be the application. So what exactly is it? So it's gonna be a business management system for a small business niche. You know, it's not something that, that every business can use, but it certainly will be ones that are in the niche or niche, depending on, on how you want to say it. And it covers elements of inventory and CRM and financial reports, etc. I'm not going to give too much away just now. We'll cover that as we go through the process. And it's also going to include web and mobile applications. So we're going to need both, both the web, the main sort of desktop web app, and also mobile apps. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be building this in public. Okay, and the idea with building public, if you've not come across it before, is that you essentially show what you're building as you build it. So generally you'll show screenshots, you'll show videos of exactly what you're building, just to gain that little bit of interest for the early adopters. And then what you do, you encourage the beta testers and early adopters to sign up for it, and maybe potential customers in the future. And that's where sort of building in public is part of the... Uh, part of sort of the early stage marketing mix and also to get feedback on the app to make sure that you are building the right app for product market fit and that maybe you can pivot in the right direction if you need to based on feedback from your early adopter users but in this case what's new with what i'm doing here is i'm going to actually show you how to develop it as well so yeah we're going to be building it in public but actually building it in public actually developing it in public so this tutorial series is going to show you how we're going to do that that's the purpose of this to build in public and show you how to develop it as well so how are we going to build it now primarily we're going to be using bubble as the title of the the video suggests it's going to be built in bubble but we will use other no code tools as well uh, as part of the mix and we're going to have a look at which ones we should use and we'll go through that in the next video so who is the series for well it's essentially for anyone who wants to build a SaaS application so obviously using no code, and especially if you want to use Bubble as well, uh, then this series for you. It really doesn't matter the level that you're actually at. The fact that you're looking at tutorials about how to build a SaaS app means that this is right for you. And I've also made it beginner friendly. So if you are a bit more advanced, if you're a bit more into Bubble and you've got a lot of the basic concepts down and you're quite comfortable with those, uh, you can skip the elements of the of the series that perhaps relate to, to be beginners only. However, even when I'm explaining the concepts at a beginner level, they will be within the context of the app rather than explain them as abstract concepts. They will be within the context of the application. And to facilitate that as well, I'm going to be doing this as quite bite-sized chunks. So they'll be anywhere between five and 15 minute videos. They won't sort of be long 30, 40 minute videos or anything like that. Uh, just to help you to look at the subjects that, that make sense to you and then move on to the next one if, you, if, you, if they don't. So that's what we're going to be building and I hope that you can join me through this process, join me for the next step where we're going to be looking at what are we actually going to use to, to build this application. Okay, thanks for watching, take it easy and I will see you in the next one.